Have you ever dreamed of being the star of your own AI generated video? Imagine stepping into a scene where everything is crafted by AI, making you the hero of your own digital world. Well, it's time to turn that dream into a reality. With the power of Runway ML and Mid Journey, I'm gonna show you how to create a video where you become the hero of your own story. So let's get into it. Here's how to digitally insert yourself into an AI generated video. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create some images in Mid Journey that look exactly like us. Now I've done a detail detailed video about this before guys the links in the description go check it out but it's going to explain all the steps that you need to follow and all the tools you need to complete this but I'm just going to showcase one of the prompts so this is me a 31 year old Assyrian man with a short beard and a trendy fade haircut and then what I want him to be doing is smoking a vape so you can see there I didn't really get too descriptive mid journey doesn't like it when you put a lot of detail in okay so try to keep it to the bare minimal but you can see here my age uh, my ethnicity and obviously my gender, uh, obviously the important stuff, the beard, uh, trendy, uh, <laughs> trendy fade haircut. I just added that in, but I wanted them to be smoking a vape. Now, obviously it's not me, but when I click here and go in swapper, what it will do, it will put my face into the actual image itself. So if you scroll down here, now this is me. You can see they've included my face into this image. All right, so I've created about five images and I'm gonna show you guys how to bring all of these images to life now using Runway ML. All right, so we've gone to the Runway ML website. I've uploaded the image that I want to edit and I wanna click here, which is Motion Brush. Now this tool is amazing because what it lets you do, it lets you brush the sections that you'd like to move. All right, so I've brushed over all of the sections with the water and I've also brushed over the sun. So now let's play around with these parameters down here and control which way the motion of the water will go. All right, so I've selected three to go to the right. Uh, so that's gonna move the water and it's also gonna move the sun to the right. I've also done 1.0 to go upwards in elevation. So let's save this and now let's go to camera motion. And now there's actually some additional tools here that have just been updated like literally this week. I haven't even understood what pan means. Okay, so I've zoomed out by three. Let's see the results now. So here are the results and you can see the water is definitely moving. The sun is slightly moving, which is good. I didn't want that to move too much. And it's also zooming out a little bit as well, which creates sort of like a slow motion effect. But really, really like the results that came out of this one. This one's really good. All right, so here's another one of me inside a car driving through the countryside. So let's create the motion that the car is moving. All right, so I've selected pretty much all of the background and I've set the parameter to 10 going that way. Let's see what results we get. All right, so here are the results and you can see there. Oh my God, I was not expecting his head to turn. <laughs> Look, I guess the main thing is you can see that the background is moving. Um, I was not expecting his head to move. I didn't give him that instruction, but maybe that's what happened because I put it as 10. So it's just grabbed the head and turned it. Let's go back and we'll change the parameter to five. We'll keep it in the same direction. All right, so here are the actual results and I'm actually really liking this. What I did was I reduced the parameter down to 0.5 instead of 10. And the other thing I forgot to mention is I forgot to deselect the zoom out option as well. So it actually is right now zooming out of the image. One thing I really like is how the background is moving. So it makes you feel as if the car is driving, but also as well, you can see that the character's head is moving a little bit as well, which that just adds to the realism of the actual clip itself. So it's really good. I love how it just brings the image to life. All right, this next one, I got this Lamborghini in the middle of nowhere. Obviously it's not a photo of me, but I wanted to show you guys how to make the motor vehicle move in an image like this. I feel like I figured it out. All right, so I've brushed over the car. Now the parameters, I went left 1.5 and I went down 1.5. This one is sort of like you have to test it a little bit till you get the perfect results, but you're trying to get it in the direction of the car. Let's try this one and see what results we get. All right, so here are our first results. You can see the car's moving in the right direction. However, it's not moving as much. The other issue is, is I forgot to probably highlight some of the clouds. Let's go back in, let's play around with it a little bit. Let's see if we can get better results. All right, so I've now brushed over some of the clouds in the sky. Now I've set the parameter to go left to about 5.0 and down at about three. Let's see what results we get now. 
All right, so here are the results. The clouds are moving. Now the car itself is moving in the right direction. So I noticed that it transforms into a different car. Look, I haven't figured out this one yet. I don't know. This is, I want you guys to go in there. If you guys are using this tool, just play around with it. See if you can figure out what are the best results for a moving car. All right, here's the photo of me smoking the vape. I've highlighted all of the smoke and I've made the elevation go up by 5.0. For the camera motion, I also zoomed out by three. Let's see what results we get. So here are the results and you can see that the smoke is moving and it's zooming out more. I think the issue with this one is I probably shouldn't have zoomed out that much. Probably should have zoomed out at about 1.5. And um, yeah, the results would have been a little bit different. But regardless, look, you know what? I wanted, The main thing I wanted to show is the, the smoke. Look how realistic it is. So really impressed with this one. All right, so this last one is just me standing in front of a Lamborghini. And you've got like the nice background with the water and the clouds. Let's see what we can do with this one. All right, so I've highlighted all of the clouds and I've highlighted that boat in the background and also the water. You see how I sort of try to separate everything as well so it's not touching? And I've also highlighted myself. We're gonna go left 3.0 and let's see what results we get. All right, so here are the results and you can see that my character is actually moving backwards, which doesn't make sense. And it makes, and like, obviously it's doing that because he wasn't looking that way. So it's completely confused it. The clouds and the water, obviously I'm happy with that. Obviously it didn't also select the boat. Let's do it the other way. Let's go right and let's just see what results we get. All right, so here are the results. I also zoomed out a little bit. Now you can see there, he's obviously trying to take a step forward. Um, and obviously it's uh, cutting out a little bit as well, which makes sense. But look, the fact that it's able to even make that guy's leg move is brilliant. This is only gonna get better and better. Obviously the clouds and the water and even the boats decided to move as well. So not completely impressed, but still it understands what I'm trying to do. So those are the examples that I wanted to show you guys. I hope this video was helpful. I would like you guys to go give it a try, see what results you get, but I wanna make sure that you understand the process. You're creating the image in mid journey, then you're gonna do a face swap using the Insight face swap app with that image. Then you're gonna take that image, put it towards runway ML, and you're gonna use that to create motion into the actual image itself. Once you're finished with all the videos, you can download them and put them into your video editing software, add some sound effects and make a trailer, whatever you think. I don't even know what you guys wanna do. You can also get a narration as well. So you could be narrating as the video is panning out. But have fun with it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.